welcome back guys in this video i will tell you exactly the best method to destroy the shark in shark bite 2. so uh, after using this strategy you will notice that getting teeth will become super easy that's because being the mvp will become pretty usual this method has three key components you will first need a fast boat because speed is probably the most important factor when it comes to dodging, escaping and chasing the shark. Without speed, there's no pressure. Without pressure on the shark, there are no opportunities. So, the boat that you're going to be using is the jet ski. But why? Well, it is an amazing speed and it is also super tiny, which might make the shark's ability to chase you less efficient. The main thing why I chose this boat is its evasiveness. While the shark is chasing you, you will be shooting at it, which will make its screen go a bit reddish. This usually makes it so the shark becomes quite clumsy in its attempts of catching you. And with the jet ski's amazing handling, it can make it really difficult for most players to reach you. If you can't afford the jet ski, it is worth mentioning that the Canopy motorboat is a great option to go for. but really try to get the jet ski as it is incredibly good now the second key component is your gun as many of you might have expected you're going to be using the shark blaster it is a fully automatic gun that deals six damage per bullet but can shoot 30 at a time this weapon shreds through the shark's health as it is not very hard to hit all of its bullets potentially dealing 180 damage every five seconds Dealing constant damage is important, as you can keep most of the pressure going even if you miss a bullet or 10. This is not the case with a few bullet strong hitting weapons, where you rely heavily on a single shot for most of the damage output. If you can't afford the Shark Blaster, which is understandable, go for the Thompson, as it is just a nerfed version of it. One extra thing that you can do to make this method even more OP is staying close to big boats as the shark is far more likely to chase and destroy a pirate ship than a jet ski. This will leave the shark exposed for quite some time for you to deal a considerable amount of damage. Now, I will proceed to show you how this game style is generally executed. A great strategy that you can try is instantly heading towards the shark spawn to quickly start dealing damage. As you can see here, this player is using the default shark, which is not very fast, and it is struggling to keep up with my boat. So right here we have one of the hardest ones I have yet, with an orca player who also struggled to keep up with this strategy with the help of some other boats.
Finally, if you paid attention, you might remember that I had said that there are three key components, but I only mentioned two. Well, that's because the last one is luck. Listen, we all want to win, but sharks are players too. And a pro shark is going to most likely win if you don't have a supporting teammate. With this strategy, you will succeed most times. But absolute perfection is impossible. There is always a good player out there and occasionally you must both face. Of course, this doesn't mean that this method is bad or anything. I just want to clarify that the type of shark and skill level of the player you're against with will have a significant impact on your performance over the duration of the match. So, I hope you found this guide useful. Scroll down and click on the subscribe button to help my channel out and check my other videos if you are interested in some more Roblox content. With this said, I hope you have a great day.